Welcome to the Manning Hour, hosted by Peter Manning. Ahoy, McCoy! Hey, do you mind if I call you Gerald? My name is Gerald. I know, it just seems kind of offensive. Does it have like a soft G? Just call me Gerald. Just use my name. Gerald, I'm gonna read you a quote you once said. Mm -hmm. He's actually my favorite superhero because he's just as powerful as the other superheroes, but he doesn't have any superpowers. His greatest attribute is that he's highly intelligent. He's just a regular dude who always finds a way to get the job done. Absolutely. And that's probably the nicest thing you've ever said about Ryan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't actually talking about Fitz, but that does sound like Fitz. Who were you talking about? I was talking about the Batman. Are you sure they're not the same guy? You know, usually you can see Batman's chin, and I think I would know if Fitzy was underneath the mask. You're a grown-ass man, Gerald. I am. I am with a lot of kids. You think you should be doing into something cooler like Pokemon or Harry Potter? <laughs> I'm going to name a superhero or a villain, and you tell me the NFL equivalent player. OK. OK. Let's start with Captain America. J.J. Watt. What about Flash? Tyreek Hill. Excellent. How about Loki? I'm going to say Loki is Aaron Rodgers. Because yes. he, he's unapologetically excellent. Spider-Man. Jalen Ramsey. He can go get anything. He lacks confidence. Yeah, I know. He has to, man, he has to take some classes for that. Yeah. What about X-Men? Well, that's not one. That's a group. And it's a group of mutants with a lot of infighting, a lot of... Sounds know, like the Pittsburgh one. Steelers to me. Uh, it's just... <laughs> I think Aquaman is the coolest guy. I mean, Aquaman rides a friggin' seahorse. Yeah. I love shrimp. I feel like uh, Cam Jordan can be Aquaman. Yeah. yeah, we had wings one time. That is not a fish. It's, it's just a chicken, sir. You have your own Batmobile. I do. What kind of gas mileage does that baby get? 